Research has shown one tonne per hectare extra grass dry matter utilised at farm level is worth 160 euro per hectare. Increased grassland measurement leads to higher grass utilisation. Being able to answer the following questions will increase farm profitability. What is your current farm growth rate? How much grass will your farm grow this year? Chagas have developed Pasture Base Ireland to improve grassland management at farm level. Efficient grassland management is based on weekly farm walks to estimate the grass cover on each paddock, facilitating crucial grazing decisions. Cover estimation can be done by visual assessment similar to what you have done today, calibrated by cutting and weighing a sample of the paddock, alternatively a plate meter can be used. Today paddock 3 has a grass cover of 2100 kgs of dry matter per hectare, paddock 2 has a grass cover of 1400 kgs. When the farm cover is completed, the information is entered onto the decision support tool such as PastureBase or another commercially available software package. PastureBase Ireland is a web-based decision support tool. Information collected by farmers throughout the country is recorded in a centralised database for further research. It includes a grass wedge, spring and autumn rotation planners and a grass budget. Any computer with an internet connection can be used and there is no need to download any special software to the farm computer. The grass covers we estimate today are entered here. Paddock 3 has a grass cover of 2100 kgs, while Paddock 2 has a grass cover of 1400 kgs. In the management decision section, the cow numbers, rotation length, grass allocation, concentrates and silage fed are entered. Today cow numbers are 38, grass allocation is 17 and no silage or concentrates are being fed. In an ideal wedge, all the blue bars would reach the red demand line. The demand line is drawn from the target pre-grazing yield to the post-grazing residual. Grass demand and grass growth rates have been calculated. In today's wedge, we can see that grass growth is higher than grass demand, so a surplus is developing on the farm, and the farm cover per cow is above target. Paddock 3 is above the target wedge line, and could lead to reduced grass utilisation and milk yield if grazed, but would make high quality grass silage. When paddock 3 is removed as bale silage, the grass growth and demand are closer to synchrony. The farm cover per livestock unit is closer to the target of 160 to 200 kgs of dry matter per livestock unit, and we have an ideal grass wedge. The wedge can be effectively used to aid the decision making process, like removing a paddock for silage, providing confidence that there is sufficient grass on the farm. One of the key outcomes of grass measurement is the weekly farm growth rate, which is 60 kgs today. The target post-grazing height during the main grazing season is 4 cm, similar to paddock 2. This strikes a balance between cow performance and maintaining sward quality for the next rotation. Using grassland management decision support tools such as PastureBase Ireland or other commercially available software packages will help to maximise grass utilisation at farm level. The achievement of Food Harvest 2020 targets and an efficient dairy industry will require an increase in grass growth and utilisation at farm level. Pasture-based Ireland's decision support tools will facilitate the achievement of targets on farm while providing the background research data that will facilitate the delivery of the next generation of grasses and grassland technologies.